my main focus with him is going to be Carl, look at me, right? Or have a cookie, Carl, Carl, and in a way. So this teaches him the direction I want him to go. Okay. You're going to do the same with her. When, if they're stuck and the leash is tight, he's, going to, he's, going to, he's not going to come. He's going to push against that leash, and that's when you're going to have conflict. Okay. So every single time he sees something, the name. Because like when your mom said, Jerome, yeah. you went, what do you want, mom? Absolutely. Right? Right? And that's what he's going to respond to. So it's his name. Yes, what do you want? Come. Right? Get that. Try not to, as the dog is more mature, like with her, I would do this kind of stuff. But as he gets more mature, so that later they're used to this posture. We start him at this posture. We go to this posture. We go to this posture. We end, come, and they go to there. So. Let's try that exercise with each of them. Let's try it with Carl first. Just bring him here, loose, normal line. As soon as he focuses in on her, which he's doing, name? Carl. Tap. Praise. Good, Carl, good, good. Carl, good boy, good boy, good boy. Yeah. Attaboy. Good boy. Good. And they go praise. And then at that point, you can either pet, verbally yes. praise, reassure, or give him a cookie. Carl. Good boy. Attaboy. Good boy. Good. Do it again with him. Okay. Bring him cl Carl. closer to Nissa. Okay. Right? Good. Now, say his name. Carl. Good boy. Hold there. Good, 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 good. 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 Be careful about going in circles with the dog. Okay. Because that's confusing to them, right? You want to try to use right angles. So boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, Got boom. It. So that he always has to change direction. If you get him going in a circle, it can, it'll confuse him. So try one more with Carl. Carl. Could stand up a little straighter with him now. Good, yeah. That's what I want, that looking in your eyes. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Okay, excellent. Now this time what I wanna do is I want you to have him next to you, walk up, sit, good, and then walk backwards and then call him to you. So now we're talking about dead straight lines. Walk right in front of Nissa, maybe come to like right this green spot right here, mm -hmm. sit, Good, and then walk away from him and call him to you. So he should go side and then right to the front. Okay. Right there, sit. 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 Carl, sit. Come. Good, okay, that part's perfect. What I want I you to do sit. is I want you to communicate him more verbally. Okay and less physically. Because okay. physically, we eventually lose, sure, right? right? So what I want you to do is take him with you, come here, Carl, sit, and if he doesn't sit, no, sit, right? Give him a direction, okay. as opposed to pop on the sit. Pop is a no, okay. right? Good, so come on, Carl. You're showing <laughs> right. your Rottweiler style. Yeah, right. Go with your dad, let's, let's go. go. Come on. Carl, sit, sit. Good, Good. there you go. Carl. Come, come. Good, stand up a little straighter, good. So when you're straighter, he looks at you better, okay. okay? What I don't want to have happening, what I'd like to avoid with the dogs is this idea that they're on this tight leash. Okay. So when you're bringing him up, like whenever he gets to here, he's feeling like on his neck. Okay. I want him to feel like this is a pleasurable walk. So maybe take him for a loop in a circle first so he's next to you. Then when you get to here, sit as, l as less on the leash as possible. Okay. We want to save that. This is meaningful, right? Mm. If it happens all the time, especially a dog like him, he's, it's impervious. He'll never feel the correction. Mm. So it should be all positive, very few negatives. Okay. So we're gonna go a little circle. Yeah, do a little circle, then come, and then come straight in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. You're fine, Chris. Mm. So sit. Sit, Carl. Sit. Carl, over here. Sit. Sit. Good. Not bad. I'll tell you what I would do with both of them. I, with her, a little less, but I'm going to, I'm going to take a crack at this with, with yeah, Carl. Please do. Right? Because we got to get a better focus with him. And right now, he doesn't know what we want, so he doesn't know what we should do. But I'm going to show you with this little mm -hmm. secret visionary cookie. Hey, mm -hmm. If I go this way, oh. now we got attention, right? And since attention is a learned behavior, why don't we teach it to him? It's better forcing him, right? Hey, that's good to do trick dog stuff. Come here. So here, 
Good, Carl. Good. Heel, heel. Good. He's learning this is the heel. Sit. Good. Wait. Carl. Yeah, good boy. So why not use a cookie? Okay. You know? Because right now, we can teach him by yanking him, or we can teach him by luring him. Got it. I'd rather correct him by yanking him okay. and teach him by guiding him. Understood. So, get, you got some cookies with yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, so. Training your dog should not be complicated. In fact, it should be fun for both you and your dog. I designed a program that does exactly that. Whether you're looking for puppy training or beginner obedience, advanced obedience, problem solving, leash pulling, aggression, anything, anything you can possibly imagine. I have more than 170 lessons, over 60 hours of instruction, all available at one low monthly price. I guarantee you're gonna love it. In fact, if you don't, I've got a money back guarantee. Check it out now at robertcabral.com. So we want him to get this, this is fun. Okay. Right? This is all yep. being a good citizen, good. There he goes, that's nice. Good. Sit. Now he's got plenty of speed. You don't need to put speed on Carl. Okay. Good, wait, sit, and then walk wait. away from him and call him to you, come. Come, Carl, come. He kind of fooled you on that one. He did. <laughs> he came before you called Good him. Good, come. All right, tell him to sit there, and then Chris Wait. and Nissa. Okay, so the next thing I want to work on with Carl is going to be his separation from you, right? So that's going to be, you're going to hand me the leash, mm -hmm. and you're going to go behind the car. Behind my car is probably going to be the easiest for you. And you're going to just stay gone for, count to 20 when you get back there. A nice one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Mm -hmm. And then just come back. So tell him, you, you want to give him like a command, like, Carl, Chill out, Carl, hang out, Carl. I wouldn't use a form like a down or a stay. What about wait? Wait, wait. is, what, that's what I use. Yeah, he, he understands wait. Okay, so wait is not really stay, it's like, hey, just wait for a second. Just chill out, yeah, I'll be back, okay. right? Okay. So that's what I want him okay. to get, and then you disappear, and then you come back. Okay. Carl, wait. Hey. So now, Jerome is gonna disappear. Hey, how's it going, boss? And I'm gonna hang Good. out with I'm Carl, Jerome. this is just, great. What Ray? we call a uh, supervised Ray, yeah, separation. Hey, Carl. Nice. Thank you. And so he can't see where his dad is. Carl can't see Jerome, but he's just got to chill out. And he doesn't have to stay in any place, but he can't whine for him and he can't look for him. So a supervised separation means he's comfortable being away from his dad and it just shows a good confidence in the dog. So he's coming back. It's usually gonna be for three minutes, but we're doing it here for 20 seconds or so. Now, when you come up to him, Jerome, don't say hi to him, don't get him excited. Come up to me first, because you don't want him starting to lunge at you, right? Yeah, so, and that's how you should learn to approach your dog. Right? So he's confident. That's the main idea of this exercise, that he's confident being away from you, right? And then I hand you the leash back. Good, perfect. Carl, come. Good. Come, come. So come, when you come, say come, I want it on a loose leash, Jerome. Come, loose leash, no, pop. Got right? it. The correction is, is the pressure. There's no pressure on the command. Okay, okay. So, so bring him up. Let's do the same exercise we did here before. Yeah. This is really just to teach dog neutrality, okay. right? And Carl's dog friendly, but he's also a little too friendly. Like he wants to be nice to everybody. I think it was the foster. They had like three dogs. Yeah. All they did was play all yeah, day long. Yeah, he just wants to, And she's like that too. She's a really easy dog. So neither one of these dogs have an issue, but I don't want them playing. And if he engages the wrong dog, right. he's going to get in a fight. So when you know each other, you go, hey, we're going to meet at the park. We're going to play. I got no problem with that. I have a problem with your dog just going up and going, hey, we're going to play. I don't like it at all. So, so get him on a loose leash. Use a cookie to, to lure him with you up to Annie. Annie's going to stay put. Carl. Oh. Good, and I want you luring everything with this dog for the okay. next month. Good, yeah. And when he goes up, you don't go higher, because eventually you're gonna be at the top of the ladder. <laughs> when he goes up, you go bow. Boom, don't jump on my, gotcha. right? Yeah, you'd say, no, you can't, because you're strong enough to control your dog, mm -hmm. right? So get him, get him in position for you. Yeah. Wait. Good, now walk up just maybe to right here. Over here. Good, sit. Sit. Good. Good. Right. And now back away and call him to you. Carl, come. There he goes, perfect. Mm -hmm. 